Hello guys, welcome at Lemon Expert. Today we are going to learn some basic commands of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So let's get started. Click on Applications. Go to Utilities and here you will find Terminal. This is a workplace for Red Hat Enterprise Linux Administrator. Let's learn how to make a new directory. So for this command is mktir and I put a directory name let's say Vivek now our directory has been created but how would we know that it has been created or we can open it or not so we can uh, use another command that stand for change directory this is cd and directory name now we are inside the directory named Vivek okay earlier we were our home location this tilde sign represents home location you will know what is uh, home location soon so we are inside the directory named Vivek and how do we get back in this directory or uh, we will go in previous directory suppose uh, we just entered in a home directory and it is in desktop but we want to return back to home directory so in GUI we just click here and we return but how we'll do this how we will do this function in command line so command for that is CD space and double dot and we are in previous directory you can see here on this line we were in our home location and we changed our directory to Vivek and when we uh, wrote this command and we are again back to the home directory so how do we check our location suppose we get messed up in between directories how we will ever see that in which directory we are so Linux has a command for that which is PWD PWD stands for present working directory and the output of this command is like we are inside a directory name Vivek Sharan which is inside home directory so okay now we can change our directory to Vivek and let's see what's the output of PWD PWD now you can see that you are inside directory name Vivek which is inside in Vivek Shen, which is inside home it might be appearing uh, quite hectic that uh, what is uh, home directory and uh, what is Vivek Sharan and how this uh, home directory came in existence but uh, after this video I will be uploading next video in which uh, I will explain the file system of the Linux at that moment you will understand it properly but for now you should focus on the syntax of the command like let's say mkdir so mkdir space directory name change directory as the cd space directory name for going backwards in directory you should uh, type cd space double dot so just focus on these commands and syntax after understanding file system you will be very comfortable in let's move to our next command next command is list list directory suppose we uh, open this home directory okay what we see here is that desktop document so this these are the contents of this directory how we will see the contents of the directory on the terminal for that command is ls ls is simply a list command it shows the list of the content of the directory so in home directory pwd so this is our home directory home directory of this user we have a content of desktop downloads pictures we can also see here okay and if we will we have we have created this directory using mkdir command if we want to change to that directory mkdir and if we will list this directory we will find that this directory is completely empty this directory do not have any content okay now we should see this in GUI mode let's open home directory you will see that here is a Vivek and this is completely empty there is nothing in it moving to our next command that is a command of creating an empty file the command is touch and f 
file 1. This touch command creates a file which has no information written in it. Now just list this directory and we will find our file. See it. There is a file named file 1. Okay. Let's make some other files like uh, a oh sorry a now list this directory we will find that there's there are two files one is a and another is file one what if I require to make uh, multiple fi files in a single command so for this we will write b c d e f G. Let's see what happened inside the directory. We can see that we have created directory. Uh, we have created files a, b, c, d. So if we will write this touch command and after every space whatever the name we will give here, it will make uh, this command will make them a separate files. This holds true for make directory command as tr1, tr2. Three. Using single line, we have created three directories. If you will pay attention here, you will find that A, B, C, D it is simple in black. E, 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 F, G, E, F, G, and file one is in black. However, directories are in blue. Okay, these are also in blue. That's because they are in directory. Let's check this Vivek directory uh, in GUI mode we will find that they are content A, B, C, D and these are three directories so we are uh, seeing this command like uh, seeing the output of this command like A, B, C, D if we will add some argument with the ls command that is hyphen L hyphen L shows us a list here it is showing an information just uh, in a line but here it is showing in a list and giving a much detailed view which one is a directory and which one is a file despite if suppose we have a black and white monitor okay black and white then there's a, there will be no difference between blue and black then how will you will know that which one is a directory and file if you will pay a close attention here you will find that these uh, 3 dr1 dr2 and dr3 they are in uh, d written in front of this text these are called the permissions these are the permission read write permissions and this defines the type this is a directory so there there is a d written and those which are files there is nothing just a simple hyphen there is no entry on this place so if we do not have a capability to see which one is a direct which one is directory uh, just by seeing the color then we can see by we can see by paying attention to this argument okay now we have created an empty file but what if we want to create a file with data okay for that uh, there's a command named cat we will have to use this redirection operator and file name we have already created a file named a we will just open that file and we'll write our content Now, if we want to close this file, we will have to press Ctrl C. Now, list the directory. I would like to direct your attention on these two output of list commands. Here, when we have list or directory, we got an information about file a which has nothing written in it but when we added some content by using cat this assign this redirection operator and a and we written our content layman expert youtube channel and saved it by pressing control c and when and afterwards when we executed our list command we found that there are information the size of file has been increased so this must appear in GUI mode as well let's open a here you can find that 
the content that you have typed in terminal mode okay now we can create an empty file we can add a content in a file but what would what would happen if we want to see the content of a file so for that just simply use cat and space file name and you will see what's inside the file but if you want to edit your file cat a hello okay earlier file name a has the content live an expert youtube channel then I edited it and insert a new line called hello what shall be the output uh, whether this should be the like layman expert YouTube channel and next line will be hello or uh, this file may contain only hello or the only layman expert let's see what would be the output if you use this command cat and redirection operator or you can say greater than sign so this replaces the content of earlier but what what would happen or what should be the command if we do not want to erase earlier content and add another content so for that you will have to use this operator twice and now write a command N write your content okay let's check our output now you can see that we have both of these lines so for removing every content and writing your own you should use this and if you want to append the content of the file means means you do not want to erase your file completely and write new content you want to just add your content in it then you should use this command so we have learned touch command pwd cd mkdir cat and ls command we have learned ls by two types ls and ls hyphen l we learned how to see which one is a directory and which one is a file there are more commands but before moving to that i would like you to practice all these commands and if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section and in the next video i will explain the directory structure of the Linux then you will have a more clear understanding about what is the sign that uh, this sign called tilde means uh, and why a terminal always opens this directory and what is this and what is home directory how the directories in Linux are arranged in Windows there are C drive D drive E drive but in Linux there are no C drive D drive so when I will explain the file system or file structure or directory structure of the Linux you will have a better understanding but until then I would like you to practice these commands and if you incur any doubts ask me in a comment section please do like share and subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more video thank you